Yes, my people, it's your boy Django. Hope all is well. And with it being deadline day and bids being received by United, it's only right I give you my thoughts on the opinion and who I want to take control of my club. And now we can move on forward with the new owners. And there's a couple of things I've got onto and I wanted to point out. If you come in here for expert opinion, subscribe, like, and go. Because <laughs> I ain't no financial expert. But what I can do is speculate about my team and the owners and who I want to control my team. So let's get into it. Done, no. First thing I want to say is Jimmy, man. Sir Jimmy. <laughs> so... I think Sir Jimmy and his team's broke than a mouth out, personally. Yeah, they ain't putting in nothing. Jimmy thought he could have gone and pick up United for a little four mil and that. Yo, somebody need to tell Jimmy. Yeah, because I wanted Jimmy to take charge, you know what I mean? But that's some sentimental nonsense because he lived local and things like that. But Jimmy ain't got the money. I'm going to tell you that now. That's why Jimmy's out here trying to use the media to get the fans on his side. I'm going to tell you now, Jimmy. We're going with the money, man. <laughs> hey, Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy got no dough trying to stunt, you know, I swear to God. Nah, man, you got to give it to him. Jimmy's trying to hustle his way to United Chairman. Nah, Jimmy, suck it, bro. I'm telling you now. <laughs> and we know we don't want any of us and we don't want none of them financial group. And we definitely, definitely don't want any of us to join up with any of the American fight. We don't want no Americans, full stop. It's Jimmy or the Arabs. That's it. You get me? Sheik United FC. That's all I'm saying. But I would rather have Jimmy than Enios join in with the American financial groups. That's not, that is not good. Multiple business owners. My bad then, a little technical issue. But as I was saying, multiple business owners, not good for business. Well, it's not good in football terms anyway. Because when it comes to buying players, one might want the players, the others don't want, the other might not want the player. Then it becomes a freeway between us two owners. It's it's not a good look. And the only reason is I want Jimmy. If Jimmy can hustle his way to Manchester United, maybe that's who we want in charge. Now I mean, somebody cunning enough to do biz, big business, because let's be honest. Woodward, Murder and them are jokers, aren't they, really? Realistically, I've been saying this for years. Hashtag Glazers out. You let me know in the comment who you want to be your chairman. Like I'm saying, yeah, if Jimmy hustles his way to be United chairman, we've got to give it, we've got to take our hats off to him. But I don't see Jimmy and his boys, them getting up nowhere near to the five billion mark, me personally. From what I'm seeing, what I'm hearing, the interviews I seen Jimmy in, they ain't got the dough. They trying to use the fans to sway, to sway the negotiation in their direction. It's not going to work, mate. And at this moment in time, if you look at our strongest eleven out, I'm saying we're free, free major signings of title challengers, personally. And I'm not trying to get Jimmy here. He's used all the dough he could get together to buy United and then we can't spend. I need somebody who's going to come fix my stadium and throw a little 250 mil on this team. That's I'm telling you now, that's, that's what we need to be title challenging. Winning the league, we have to take things step by step, in my opinion. Let's not go stupid. Let's take the Newcastle approach. Because by the end of today... We're going to know who's put the ice bid in. Wednesday the 22nd. March. 
deadline day for all bids to be submitted. So by the end of today, we'll know. And all I want is Timber, De Young, and Ossiman. You can't tell me that's not achievable with 250 mil if with proper negotiators and not bankers. Because Aussie man's already flirting with us. De Young, what, another year off that two years that he had last year? You might as well just tear that contract up and just come to United for free. And Timber, we ain't paying more than 60 mil for Timber. But then, then again... Nah, because it won't be murdering them in charge. So I don't see us paying more than 60 mil for Timber. And you know we can have Timber to cover centre, right, easily. But I haven't got a problem with uh, with all four left back and right back. You know, the two right backs and the two left backs. I haven't got a problem with that. My problems become when Casimiro's not there. So if we have De Jong, you can rotate between Ericsson's position and Casemiro's position, it'll just make life easier for Eric. And obviously, if we have a striker who's not injured all the time, Marshall's getting on my nerve now, so you know it's go time, you get me? So if we have a proper striker, we're challenging. Even this season, if Marshall was fully fit, we would be challenging. I'm telling you now, them games that we drew wouldn't be drew drawn games. So that's all I wanted to say on the comment. I think the Sheiks will take over the Kuwaitis. And I don't think Jimmy and I don't I don't think Jimmy's got enough money with his little group and the financial groups of oh, there's four of them and there's Ineos. So there's like five of them because I'm sure Ineos is a financial group as well. All of them individually hasn't got the money but together they might do but we don't want that and the problem with that is the glazers just wants that the ice the highest bid they don't care they don't care who they're giving united to as long as they can get as close to that six billion number as they put out which is a shame really because you want united going to the best owner And as one of my brethren alluded to me, he said, if they want to get the most money for a sporting institution, which will make them look good business-wise when they've been terrible. So what we should do as United fans, when they sell up their next business venture, or if it's a sporting institution they're trying to buy, we should all be on that. Whatever they're trying to buy, we should be on their Twitter page here. Yeah. Every almost every United fan should be and said these are terrible owners by the millions just so they can know how we've been feeling for the 15 years they've been in charge. You know, because that's what's gonna happen. They're gonna obviously for them it's a success because they bought United for what was it what did I don't even think they paid a full bill for United. I think it was 500,000 and the rest was on debts and clubs that they own. So they didn't even pay a billion for United, but they're selling it for six bill. So that's successful for them, for the Glazers. But for United, it's been nothing but nightmare. A stadium, our stadium has not been touched for years. But every year, these guys have been taking money out of the club. Don't forget, they've already took a billion in dividends and debts and whatever they have to pay off without paying off the United debt. So I want us as United fans, if they're going to buy an exporting institute or whatever the business is, I'm more than positive, 100% sure they will be on Twitter and social media. We need to let that, that institution know what these owners are like and what we've been through for 15 years and that's all i wanted to say on this video finally united's up for sale hopefully by the end of this week the end of this month it's all wrapped up the glazers are fucked off and united can then move forward because on the pitch we're going in the right direction that's all i'm saying people like subscribe see you on the next video